everyone, my name is Jasmine. I decided to start a YouTube channel recently because I have this huge love, uncontrollable love for makeup. So I figured I'll start one to show, you know, everyone out there my techniques. Let me just emphasize that I am not a professional. I am currently attending school for cosmetology. So all the tricks and trades that I learned, I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, I feel like that would be something that everyone would be interested in. And if you have any questions based on the school, um, the amount of time it takes to become a licensed professional, you know, I can just answer them. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you guys how to do this um, blue smoky eye that I've done a few times and I've gotten a few compliments on it. So I figured, hey, why not? Why not make a video and show everyone how to go about and do the same look that I've done before. Um, it's a few easy steps, it's not much, it's not hard. I'm going to show you how to apply my wing liner, how to smoke out the eye, how to transition it from dark to light, you know, um, well light to dark. And I'm going to show you how I apply my mascara, the type of mascara I use, and the brand of eyeshadow that I'm using to achieve this look. I'm going to start off by applying um, Soft Ochre. It's a MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. It's amazing. I'm going to try to get you guys see if I can focus the camera to have you see what it is. No? There it is. It's awesome. You're just going to apply it everywhere. So let me start off by showing you how. Sorry if I'm looking away. I do not have a mirror in front of me. So I'm trying to show you guys how to achieve this look by looking into my laptop. See if you can see that. It's all over the eyelid onto the eye top of the eyebrow arch. What it does is it basically becomes a base for eye, um, eyeshadow. It enhances the look of the eyeshadow, so it gives it that pop. Um, all right, once that's applied onto your eye, I'm gonna move ahead and start off with Anastasia Beverly Hills Maya Mia's palette. It's amazing, I was lucky to have been able to get my hands on this palette. Um, the colors are awesome. Let me go ahead and show you the colors in the palette. Oh, I just lost the brush. It actually comes with a brush that just fell. I'm going to show you guys it later whenever I can get my hands on it. It's one of my Morphe brushes. It's a smudge brush. It's Morphe, it's M139 by Morphe. Let's just get you closer so you can see it, and it looks like this. Okay, it's the brush I'll be using to apply caramel. I'm gonna apply caramel this color right here. Take a bit of caramel and apply it to the crease of your eye. Just like that. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and do the other eye. I'm going to take Sienna. That's also in the palette. Just go ahead and show you where it is. That's Sienna right there. Closer, more beautiful, beautiful tones. And apply that directly below the crease, right where you apply caramel, directly under. You can see. Once you're done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush that I have. I actually got it from Eco Tools. It does not have a number. Um, you can get it at CVS, Walgreens, I picked it up. It came, I believe, um, with a pack of six inside, and this is an amazing brush. I love it. Um, I wouldn't 
tell you to go out and get a Mac one, even though they're amazing, because this does work the same. Equally as good as a Mac brush. If you need a brush that, um, if you're on a budget and you need a good brush or something fast that you really need to pick up, go ahead. So you ask Walgreens, wherever carries equal tools, even Target. So for the blue smoke that I'm going to go ahead and do is um, I got this palette from Sephora. I don't know if you guys can see. It's an amazing color palette. It has almost all colors of the rainbow in it. That's where I'm going to go ahead and use the blue. And if you would like to see the colors I have, I've used it plenty of times. It's my go-to palette. So please excuse the way that it looks. There are the colors. So if you have this palette, it's called Sephora Color Anthology. I'm going to go ahead and use this blue right here. If you have any color, any shade that color, go ahead and feel free to use it. Then again, you could use any shades of blue as long as it's in the dark side of the family. Um, it works well. I'm going to take that brush I showed you. Dip it in the blue. And start applying it to my eyelid. I'm applying it all over my lid. Take the blending brushes that came with my palette and I'm gonna blend out the blue color into the caramel and sienna that I did from the Anastasia palette. Just blend it out and give it that little tran transition from the light browns to the dark blue. I start off from the corner of my eye and then I'm blending out. Just like so. Your goal is to get the colors evenly just distributed onto your eyelid so it gives you that transition look. There you go. Look at that. It's amazing. Once you're done with that, what I would do is normally I would go in with a smaller brush. I signed up for Ipsy. Ipsy is an awesome company. I got this brush in the mail from them once amazing it's from hmm, it doesn't even have the company's name on it but it's, it's come with a smaller tipped brush it's two-sided one is also a blending brush and one has a pointed tip I'll take that and I put it into a shimmer champagne in color I'll show you what it looks like in the same Sephora palette that color right there anything close to that color would do just fine if you have a palette and I take it, put it right into the corner, tear dot of my eye. Once you're done with that, take the same corner, dip it right back into the blue, and smoke out the bottom lid of your eye. By smoking at the bottom, you give your eye that balance. So there's not only something going on on top, you're balancing it out at the bottom also. This liner by um, NYX, it's two timer, two timer liner, it's double ended. The regular stick and also the other end which is my favorite the wingtip liner it's pointed it's basically like a little marker pen that you can use to apply your liner to your tablet I finish it off with a bow line I'm gonna go ahead and use the Makeup Forever mascara that I feel it is just wonderful. It gives you the whole length, it makes it look fuller. I actually got it a sample size from Sephora. 
I tried it out and I love it, so I'm going to definitely go back and buy one. So here it is. It's Smoky Extravagant. Smoky Extravagant by Makeup Forever. There it is. This is how it looks. Sorry for not looking directly in the camera while applying. I just um, have my mirror right down here. I'm using my laptop as my mirror. I don't have one in front of me. But I'll try to show you guys how I do my mascara. Pretty sure everyone knows how to apply mascara. Okay, there's the finished look. quick, it was easy, it's an amazing look, it gives you that pop, all you have to do is wear a simple outfit, I just threw this denim shirt on and it just worked, compliments, doesn't it? So if you guys are interested in any certain types of look, please comment, let me know, um, if you need me to go in depth with anything that I've done today, definitely throw me a comment, um, let me know if you want the whole full face look and I will go ahead and make a video. Love you guys! Thank you for watching.